let's say you have a website and at the back end is your web server and let's say your web server uses a hard drive for storage and let's say you have a dedicated machine that has a hard drive so this is your database on a dedicated machine and you only have one machine so all your website's data user info etc is stored on this one hard drive now in this simple setup what are the downsides a major downside is that if this hard drive goes down or for some reason the machine fails or uh, the machine reboots your website will stop serving so the downside is that there's no fault tolerance let's say you have to do maintenance on this database and you have to reboot the database for some reason while the database is being rebooted the data will be unavailable so there will be downtime on this website and so another downside here is a high potential for downtime now here's a solution for this which is you add another machine which is a true copy of this hard drive of this other machine so all the data that's on this machine will also be on this machine now what this does is if this machine goes down the other machine can take over and serve requests for the website and this is called replication we're replicating this hard drive into another hard drive so what are the benefits of this well number one is now we are somewhat fault tolerant if one machine goes down the other machine can take over you also have more capacity now for load if one machine gets overloaded, the other machine can also serve read requests. And depending on the setup, it might also serve write requests, right? So you have an increased capacity for load. The third benefit for large applications is that these two machines can be in different locations. For example, one could be in USA, the other could be in Europe. And so users from Europe can read from the Europe copy. And so that improves the locality, which will help with response times. So that was a quick intro to replication and why it's useful in backends.